Anyway, uh, Tom in Dexter, Michigan, as we head back to the phones because it's open line Friday. Great to have you here, sir. Hello. It's great to be here. And I can think of a different word that Obama puts into a but this is a family show. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, I was wondering, given this YouTube thing and the low ratings for the State of Union, has President Obama finally, as they say in the television world, jumped the shark? Meaning, has he become a joke within a joke? Has, uh, his, has his relevance ebbed so much that people don't even pay attention to him anymore, which could, of course, work for him because nobody's watching what he's doing. Yeah, see, that's a bonus for him uh, because he's got grand plans for this country, and they'd be made all that much more easier if nobody's watching, if nobody's paying attention. Believe me, these next two years, I have a, I have a real fear about what he has planned these next two years. And as I watch it, I watch the media, and they're focused on the, 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 the templates, the, the, the usual narratives. Okay, so we've got a lame duck president now, and we've got the Republican uh, presidential nomination race coming up. And who do you think, Rush? What do you think? I think you guys are missing the boat watching the Republicans right now. I actually told a drive-by media guy over the weekend, I said, you guys, if, if you're, the Republican campaign, as you see it today, isn't going to look a thing like it's going to look a year from now. What do you mean? Because Obama hadn't even gotten in gear yet. These next two years, Katie barred the door. There's nothing stopping him. He's already shown that he doesn't really care about observing the limits enforced on him by the Constitution. He's got two years left to transform this country, as he promised to do when he took office. We know enough now to know what about this country he doesn't like and what aspects of it he needs or wants to change. And we know that the Republicans have announced that the only weapon they've got to stop him, they're not going to use, i.e. impeachment. So the more he goes out and does this YouTube stuff, the more people, ah, this guy, he's just lost it. Or oh, this guy's become irrelevant. Or it just it pays plays into his hands if he's even thinking of it this way. I, I frankly think that if you want to analyze Obama correctly, Tom, you need to study narcissism. You may think you know what it is. I mean, all of us may think we know what it is, but it would behoove everybody to actually dig deep and, and learn about narcissism because it will go a long way in explaining why Obama would do things like this that no president prior would ever, ever subject the office to. No president previous to Obama would ever subject the office to this kind of ridicule. He's got no problem doing so. In fact, he may enjoy it. But if you understand who Obama is, in addition to the narcissism, if you understand the chip on Obama's shoulder about this country, then you would also easily understand that he's not bothered by diminishing the stature of the office. I, 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 I don't think people really, even those who claim to get it, I don't think they really do because it's scary to contemplate. It, uh, it, it would force people to say, I can't believe we actually fell for this and elected somebody with this attitude about our own country. So people are very uncomfortable going there. So instead, they'll look for other ways to explain the inexplicable like this. You know what, this guy, he's lost it, or he's become irrelevant, or he knows he got shellacked in the November elections. But when they tell us, as the White House did, that the reason Obama did this was outreach to the youths of America. Okay, 84,000 people was the peak audience. But beyond that, why does Obama need to reach out to the youth? For what purpose? Legacy? Reputation? Image? Why? He doesn't have another election coming up. Whatever he wants next in life really probably does not depend on public opinion. So why worry about outreach to the youth? Well, Rush, you still got to go sell Obamacare. No, we don't sell Obamacare. It's the law of the land. The Republicans are not going to stop it. Well, Rush, you got to go out and you really got to make a case you immigrate. No, the Republicans are all in for executive amnesty. 
The Republicans are not going to stop executive. Look, when it comes to executive amnesty, there's something that we all have to face and admit here. The Republicans agree with the idea that the illegal aliens in the country now need to get amnesty. Now, some people like Obama think they also need to be put on a path to citizenship. Some don't. But when it comes to amnesty, both parties are all in because those are future voters. And that's why citizenship is not going to be far once the amnesty is fully extended. We all know where this is going. And both parties want the same thing. So he doesn't have to reach out for the youth for that. He doesn't need to reach out to the youth for Obamacare. He doesn't need to reach out to the youth of America at a peak audience of 84,000 to advance the economic. So why is he doing it? Why did they tell us that's the reason? It can't be the reason. There have to be other reasons for this. If you understand narcissism, it'll help you understand some of it. In the meantime, folks, a brief obscene profit timeout. Back after this. 